talk about first world problems. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $180. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and silver from friends of weusecoins.com and sons of liberty mint.com. Trade value for value with the fine silver quarters you'll find at sons of liberty mint.com. That's sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's sons with a U. Sons of liberty mint.com. A group calling themselves the Keystone State Skinheads participated in their 7th annual march this weekend in Philadelphia. This Saturday was Leif Erikson Day. About 40 people gathered, some from out of state, just to walk with flags and banners to a statue of Leif Erikson in Fairmount Park. There, they spoke about their proud European heritage. As in past years, counter-protesters were also present and vocal. Some came independently, others came from the Philly comedy group The Panic Hour. It wasn't long before the counter-protesters outnumbered the marchers. Protesters linked arms to block the path and shouted insults at the marchers, attempting to drown out their message with air horns and chants. Comedians Steve Miller Miller and Kyle Prouty wore dresses and other drag attire, quote, to make some Nazis uncomfortable. 25-year-old A.J. Olson is a member of the Keystone group who organized the rally. He said, quote, This is a heritage celebration, nothing more. It's no different from having a Columbus Day festival. They say we're hate mongers, but there's nothing like that on our website. I don't know why they bother coming here. We're not here to bother them. What do you make of all this? Are the counter-protesters hurting their own cause by spewing hate? Do you believe in free speech and freedom of association for all people? Even those with whom you disagree? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. On a related note, RT.com reports that a UK border agency sent text messages to tens of thousands of suspected illegal immigrants and others in error, warning them to leave the country. The texts have already reached approximately 40,000 people. The message reads, quote, Message from the UK border agency. You are required to leave the UK as you no longer have the right to remain. British Prime Minister David Cameron, quote, agrees with the principle of sending such messages. The text campaign has cost taxpayers $64 million so far and has plans to continue indefinitely. In just the first few days, hundreds of complaints have come in about messages that included smiley faces and wished immigrants a, quote, pleasant journey. What do you think? Should people obey text messages instructing them to deport themselves? Tweet us your thoughts at Peace News Now. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Did you know you can open a free online Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info and use it to buy things in real life? Try it today, blockchain.info. Consumer Reports is warning readers to stay away from healthcare.gov. October 1st, the day of the launch of the Obamacare website, they reported, quote, If you're planning to use the marketplace to get health insurance for 2014, don't worry if you can't sign up today or even within the next couple weeks. A week later, they reported, quote, One week in, healthcare.gov is barely operational. After trying to sign up multiple times per day for weeks, now they've completely given up. Quote, don't bother even trying. Stay away from healthcare.gov. In other news, the annual Broadway bomb took place last week. The event draws in thousands of longboarders from around the world to come together and skate down Broadway. A unique video was captured from above as a swarm of over 2,000 skateboarders fled past the NYPD, who attempted to capture the skaters in a big orange net. From above, it was comedy, but down below, some skateboarders were being grabbed by police and thrown into paddy wagons. Are skateboarders criminals? Is a big orange net the solution? Share your thoughts in the YouTube comments section. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. Fuck the Constitution!
we part of the solution? Or are we part of the pollution? 